Macabibi, officially the municipality of Macabibi, is a first-class municipality in the province of Pampanga, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 75,850 people. Geography Macabibi is located in the southern part of Pampanga. It is bounded to the north by the municipalities of Manalan, Guagua and Apalit, to the east by the municipalities of Calumpit and Haganoy and Bulacan, to the west by the municipality of Sasmon, and to the south by the municipality of Masantal and Manila Bay. Barangays Macabibi is politically subdivided into 25 barangays. History Macabibi, an ancient town in the province of Pampanga is intimately linked to the Pampanga River, Rio Grande de la Pampanga. The town was named Macabibi because it is geographically situated along the shores or banks of Rio Grande de Pampanga. Some called it Macabibi because the river was abundantly grown with corals and shells during the early times. The Macabibs were the first known Capampangans. In the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines, Macabibi was considered one of the oldest and most important communities of Pampanga. The ancient town of Macabibi owes its importance to its location along the Rio Grande de la Pampanga, Pampanga River. The river's roots and its northern tributaries provided the pathways to the early major settlements in Pampanga. The English translation of Macabibi, meaning Surrounded by rivers describes the historical heritage of the ancient town. The Macabibi dialect is said to be harsher and louder than others due to how the townspeople communicate across the river. The Pampanga River is of great importance to Macabibi. Fishing is still a major source of sustenance and income for its residents. A number of fisheries can be found along the river. The province of Pampanga is also the traditional homeland of the Kapampangan people. The Kapampangan of Macabibi had played a dynamic and at times conflicting role in the history of the Philippines. They fought against the Spanish in 1571, such as the case when the youthful Tariq Solomon Bambolito became the first Kapampangan and Filipino martyr who fought against Spanish rule. They also defended the last Spanish garrison against revolutionaries in 1898. In 1901, American General Frederick Funston and his troops captured Philippine President Emilio Aguinaldo in Palanan, Isabela, with the help of some Kapampangans called the Maccabibi Scouts after their home locale, who had joined the Americans. Side. The Americans pretended to be captives of the Maccabees, who were dressed in Philippine Army uniforms. Once Funston and his captors entered Aguinaldo's camp, they immediately apprehended Aguinaldo and his men. During World War II, the Japanese fighter and bomber planes air raided the municipalities of Macabibi on December 1941. Macabibi was occupied by the Japanese Imperial Army in 1942. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Macabibi, Pampanga, was 75,850 people, with a density of 720 inhabitants per square kilometer or 1,900 inhabitants per square mile. Religion in religion, the town has Catholics 87%, Members Church of God International 5%, Iglesia Ni Cristo 3%, Evangelicals 2%, others 3%. Churches The Roman Catholic Archdiocese of San Fernando has jurisdiction over the 1575 San Nicolas de Tolentino Parish Church. It was founded in 1575 under the advocation of San Nicolas de Tolentino. The Heritage Church measures 70 meters 230 feet long, 17 meters 56 feet wide and 11 meters 36 feet high. The facade of the church has scantly ornamentation and its architectural symmetry is lost amid and the various forms assume the windows and the main entrance. Simple neo-classic lines of the facade, Maccabibi is also home to San Gabriel Chapel. This newly erected chapel is a replacement of the old chapel that has been devastated by the flooding after the Mount Pinatubo Erpution and was then formally constructed in 2002, by the then chairman of the Agumen de Mayan San Gabriel, Romeo Paris. 
who was born in this barrio and migrated to the United States of America in 1979. The chapel has come into completion as inaugurated in May 2010. And one of the most visited church at Maccabibi is the Santa Maria Chapel, the home of the Barangay's Queen and Patroness, Nuestra Señora de la Paz. The chapel is under the jurisdiction of San Rafael Archangel Parish Church. The newly erected chapel is a replacement of the old chapel because it's always been flooded during rainy seasons. So the completion of its renovation is inaugurated last April 2005 and blessed by its Excellency Archbishop Pisiana Aniceto. Based on the history, before, the place where the church is erected was called, Balati. Because in ancient times at that exact place, a big Balati tree is planted. Local government like other towns in the Philippines, Maccabibi is governed by a mayor and vice mayor who are elected to three-year terms. The mayor is the executive head and leads the town's departments in executing the ordinances and improving public services. The vice mayor heads a legislative council, Sangguniang Bayan, consisting of councillors from the barangays of barrios. Tourism and culture The town is rich in its past and treasures. Its town hall and churches reveal the wealth of the town's heritage. Town Fiesta The town's fiesta is held annually on September 10 in honor of San Nicolas de Tolentino, the town's patron saint. Barangay Fiestas Barangay Sta. Maria, Nuestra Señora de la Paz, or locally known as Apung Maria, has the largest area among all other barangays in Maccabibi. The image of the Virgin is the most venerated Marian image in the town and one of the most venerated image in the province of Pampanga. Every Fiesta Eve, they bring the original image to Taldawa, or Bukid, which is now under the place of Masantal and Manalan, for a house-to-house -house blessing within the whole day by means of Limban, a Kapampangan term for Libot or Yumaikit. Only a Pung Maria can do that wonderful event all over the province because she's connecting and making the way again in the place that Maccabibi owns before. The feast day is every last Saturday and Sunday of the month of April, and holds one of the most grandiose festivity in the whole town of Maccabibi. Devotees from abroad in Manila and locals of Pampanga come together to give honor and celebrate her festivity. During her festivity, they gather around to the original image for a grand procession, afternoon and evening, in tune of Batalaya, as she is known as L.A. Reina de Batalya, in honor of Saint Mary, Mother of Jesus. Barangay San Jose celebrates Fiesta every third Sunday of March in honor of Saint Joseph. Barangay Saplad David celebrates Fiesta every 9 January in honor of the dark-skinned, kneeling Jesus Christ carrying the cross or the black Nazarene. Barangay Sto. Rosario celebrates Fiesta every 1 May in honor of the Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. Barangay San Rafael celebrates Fiesta every 24 October in honor of Saint Rafael the Archangel Barangay San Juan celebrates Fiesta every 24 June in honor of Saint John the Baptist, people splash water to each other. Barangay San Gabriel and Barangay Cadwang Tet celebrates Fiesta every 2nd Sunday of May and 29 September in honor of Saint Gabriel the Archangel. Barangay San Isidro celebrates Fiesta every 15 May in honor of St. Isidore the Farmer. Barangay Sto. Nino celebrates Fiesta twice a year one is every third Sunday of January and the other one is every third Sunday of April in honor of the Sto. Nino. Barangay Batasan celebrates Fiesta every second day of February in the honor of Nuestra Señora de Candelaria and the Presentation of the Lord Parish. Barangay Santa Rita celebrates Fiesta every 22 of May in honor of Saint Rita. Barangay San Roque celebrates Fiesta every first Sunday of May in honor of Saint Roque, but the Western celebrates his death every August 16, 13. Brgy. Sta. Lutgarda celebrates Fiesta every first Sunday of May and 16th day of June in honor of the birth of their patron Apung Sta. Lutgarda. Brgy. San Vicente celebrates Fiesta every first Sunday of April in honor of St. Vincent. Brgy. San Francisco celebrates Fiesta every last Sunday of April and fourth day of October in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. Barangay Castuli celebrates their Fiesta every last Saturday of February in honor of Our Lady of Lourdes. Barangay Matagwiti celebrates their fiesta every first Sunday of May and known for having a Labad 
or boat procession in honoring the Lord Jesus Christ cross as their patron. Barangay Candelaria celebrates fiesta every second day of February and known for having a labad or boat procession in honoring the Nuestra Señora de Candelaria. Barangay San Esteban celebrates their fiesta every fourth Sunday of April. Barangay Sta. Cruz celebrates their fiesta every third day of May. Barangay Takasan celebrates fiesta every 19th day of March in honor of Señor San Jose. Barangay Telaxan celebrates their fiesta every 15 May and 31 December, the last day of the year, to give thanks to Saint Isidore the Farmer, their patron saint, for all the blessings that they have received for the whole year. Healthcare The town provides medical missions and free medical operations, including fully functional health facilities serves in every barangay. There are few hospitals in the town and a market in the town. The district office of the congressional representative stands near the town center. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System